This, my friends, is TT Olive Man Ride on the Edge 3. Now, if you weren't already aware, there is a one to one scale Isle of Man with free roam. But what you may not actually know as well is that this has a working fuel mode. And if we stop here at the tuning motorbike setup, you guys can see we have all the way at the top here fuel. Now, you can actually fuel this up to max and you can also empty it to low. But what happens if you actually decide to make this thing run out of fuel? Well, today we're gonna give this a quarter tank, drive around and free roam the island and see what happens when you reach zero liters of fuel. So here we go, 4.1 liters. I'm going to leave it like that. And if we exit, you guys can see we have a quarter tank of fuel right there. And actually, hold on, the gas light is on. Let's see if we can uh, actually go back. Okay, and then bam, there we go. There's no gas light on our gauge. And we now have just a little bit above a quarter tank, actually. In fact, we almost have half a tank of fuel in there. But let's free roam the island, guys. We have a lot to explore. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm pretty sure one road I haven't actually taken you guys to is if we turn right, we actually just follow up through this route here, go through here, and then probably chill, maybe go through this route, and then also go back down here. So let's drive and see how far we get anyways the very first route let's see what this takes us now the thing is the isle of man actually has a pretty crazy elevation once you reach the center of it so that's something that race would actually added into here and i do think i might make a video comparing this game to google earth let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see a video like that because so i've made one for tdsc although tdsc isn't out yet I would love to make one on TDSC, but if you guys want to see one on Race Wars game, let me know. Okay, so here we are coming up to our very first intersection, which I don't even know which way we have to go. Okay, so it's either right or left. We need to turn left, and there's nothing to explore down there, so we'll just hit left. And let's see where this takes us. You can just well see the entire map. Hold on. Don't crash, Alex. And let's see how fast. I have yet to really test out the top speed in this unless i wasn't really even paying attention now if you missed the last episode i actually went and upgraded this bike so it's a lot faster it has better cornering and i really can't wait to see what it's like when it's fully tuned but hold on we got a break alex chill there we go just about catch up break here and you can see the fuel level going down it's not very quick per se but i really don't want to miss when the fuel light comes on which is really cool because this runs on the kt engine so the KT engine supports fuel and hold on, what did we just pass? A daily challenge. If you guys remember in the very first first look, these are daily challenges or not daily, I guess you could say timed event challenges that you have scattered across the map. And if I do recall, these basically reset. So once it's done, you might see another one pop up somewhere random on the map as well. I really hope Race would like give us a finished completely like full once one skill a la man. I say it all the time. But it's true, bro. This could be the start of something really good. And I can't wait to see what Race War do, man. I've always kind of loved their approach to how they've done bike games, man, in general. I mean, you guys might remember Rims Racing. And I'm curious, did any of you guys actually pick this game up? Let me know in the comment section below. And let me know how you're finding it. And hey, if you want to do some online races and race me, let me know. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming this on my Twitch today, by the way. Feel free. Link is going to be down in the description below. And by the time you're watching this, if you're watching this as soon as I uploaded it, I should be streaming. And hold on. We have another fast travel point right there that we're going to pass. And take a look. We now have the other side of the mountain. And by the way, let's actually change this back to rain because, you know. And just like that, we're back here with a very wet and rainy road. Which I'm pretty sure the physics do change for as well. But the fact that Race would have added fuel mode, and you can see we're just about dipping. I mean, it might take a while until we run out of fuel. But hey, <laughs> this works. Of course, let's stop right here, which I didn't stop in time for. And you guys already know what we have to do. We have to walk back to our little point there. Let's see what we got. So we have another journal, which let's open this up and unlock which oh so snaefell is actually the highest mountain at 621 meters which is actually fun facts i think if i remember correctly just under or roughly around 100 meters higher it might actually be less it might be like 50 meters higher than hong kong island which again you're not gonna tell snaefell mountain is i believe somewhere on the left or the right but Believe it or not, Hong Kong Island is pretty high. I mean, taking some of the views you guys get, like on the right side 
once we complete this turn here, you guys are gonna see. Like, look at that. It is actually. Oh, don't. Oh, okay, we saved it. I mean, some of these are like super high speed corners, man. Like I said, they're sketch. And I think we are, are going to unlock another fast travel. Yes, I don't think that was there before, unless I'm fried. But yeah, we just unlocked another fast travel point. Not bad. And look at the map, Alex. That's. Bro, you, you have to look at the map if you don't know where you're going. <laughs> And there's actually another event down here that we haven't unlocked yet. So we'll keep going. I don't think I've been down here before. Yeah, you can tell because I'm crashing every corner. Hopefully, like I said, the next iteration, I'd love to see dynamic weather, a full online scale. I say it like a lot in every video, but man, I'm telling you, it will do wonders. And that's what I love, bro. There's always a niche for these like very specific things. And did I break in time? Whew, we made it in time. We did break in time. Okay, now we need to go straight so we can head back on that route. Let's actually get out of here. And our gas has barely gone down, so we need to do a lot. We need to do a lot more driving. Here we go through another side road through the Isle of Man. And by the way, like these roads, guys, they're actually also built at one-to-one -one scales. So this road that I'm on right now is actually recreated. And wow. Listen, man, better than... Oh, hold on. You can't see, guys... There's two things you can't do in this game. Look anywhere else but straight. And also, you can't do wheelies for that long. But anyways, that's what we have here. This is another inspection bay by Craig and Y Ba. Craig Ni Ba. No idea how to say that. I'm probably butchering it in all honesty, but that's what it says on the screen. And you know what? I need to make this go quicker. So let's drain this actually to complete empty. And like I said, if we go back, you guys can see we're barely, barely have any fuel left. What I love is that you can see on the screen, there's actually a fuel light. Now, I've had this happen where I've seen the fuel light come on while you're driving, so it actually does come on while you're driving. Really cool. I don't know at what point I want to assume below quarter tank it looks like, or just at quarter tank, it's going to show up. But anyways, let's continue driving, and let's drive this thing to its end and see what happens when you run out of fuel in Alaban's free roam. Now, we've kind of already gone this way, so I want to actually turn left here. We'll go to Laxi, because you guys have not seen this part of the map. In fact, still, I've made four videos. This is my fourth video on this game, and you guys have not seen the entire map. I mean, pretty much test traps to look around all over again. That's one of the uh, things we've already seen. Let's continue straight through here. I would easily give this an 8 out of 10. Being straight up and all, we got to make sure we get this break zone down. Yep. And again, huge shout out to Nakon for sponsoring the video, guys. You know what it is. Let's turn right. Yeah, we're going the right way now. Because last time, I think we turned left. Yeah, it's right here. Let's see how we do. Just about as straight. No. I tried. No fuel, pretty much. As you guys can see, don't know when we're gonna run out. Maybe like he don't run out of fuel then. Maybe it's for like races or something. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. I mean, surely it would be because you ha can refill your car. Sorry, not your car, your bike. Whoops. Someone, someone somewhere in the motorbike world is cringing that I said that. Hold on, let me turn the wheelie thing back on because yo, I'm not ready for this, especially on a turn like this. Hold on. Got, we gotta take these very beautifully. There we go. Continue on. Somehow our bike still has gas. Probably on its last, last leg. Like maybe you're gonna see like an engine light come on when you run out of gas. I mean, we still have full power. So I don't notice anything different. Oh, whoops. And I mean, fuel is one thing I do hope to see in TDSC, man. I mean, even if it's not at launch, having it post launch is pretty cool because don't forget, in TT All of Man, you don't actually pay for your fuel, you just refill it. So you could say it's a gimmick. But honestly, is it? I think it's a really nice immersion. Oh, hold on. What? And we have ran out of fuel, my friends. That is it. We're now coasting. There's nothing I could do. All I could do is switch the gears. Bam. So you actually can run out of fuel in this game. But what's going to happen? Warning, you are out of fuel. To refuel, open the map and go to an inspection bay or start an event or a challenge. So we can either go back to like one of these, the gas station things. Well, basically not gas stations, but the tuning places. But yeah, that's what happens. You can run out of fuel in this game and there's nothing you can do about it except 
go and get more fuel. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content. You already know what it is. By the way, on that side, whoops, that side, that side of the screen, you'll see something pop up. Highly recommend you guys go ahead and check it out. But you already know what it is. I'm Lock7. I'll see you guys in another video. Woo. I'm out, guys. Peace.